Hey everyone, this is Justin Wu, and today we're doing a coverage of MicroBuddies, the MicroBuddies blockchain game, as well as the brand new NFT drop coming out where you can actually purchase the Genesis NFTs coming out from MicroBuddies. In today's video, we'll do a little bit quick intro on what MicroBuddies is, as well as the Goo token, how you can set up your MetaMask wallet to then purchase your first Genesis token to get one of the most limited edition drops for micro buddies as well. But before I get into micro buddies, I want to kind of give you a little bit of background on what micro buddies is. So, you know, it is a game that takes place in the year 2021 this year, and there are 2,500 novel microbes that were discovered in an abandoned Nana factory. There are about 10 unique species, each with their own unique genetic makeup, and the ability to self-replicate by consuming their own byproduct called goo. Due to this unique appearance and endearing behaviors, these microbes and all that would come after them will become no be or became known as micro buddies. So as you can see here, there are different ranks here for micro buddies. Uh, they go from rarity, from common, rare, legendary, and exalted. You got the super micro buddy taking over the world here, micro king. <laughs> Baby King, I should say, <laughs> uh, as well as these other uh, NFTs that are going to be upcoming. You can kind of think about this similar to kind of uh, like Crypto Kitties, except these microbes or micro buddies are asexual. I don't think you need two pairs of micro buddies to generate and farm more uh, micro buddies. So, so we can kind of expect that same economy um, to like Axie Affinity. Uh, crypto kitties where there are going to be farming for these pets, uh, whether you want to rep or not pets, I should say the, you can collect the micro buddies as pets, uh, but you can go and farm more micro buddies and essentially get more goo as well, which is the a token uh, that a crypto token um, created uh, for micro buddies and it's a byproduct of uh, these NFTs. So how's it played? You know, well, this is a game that is browser based and will be on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and, and when it launches, you'll be soon be able to connect your wallet to the site and perform different tasks and functions uh, with clicking a simple button and getting involved in the different uh, different interfaces that they'll have in the game. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to engage and artificially select the perfect traits um, for your micro buddies then to then produce more goo that you can kind of collect. So you can kind of think this is like farming NFTs where you can get an NFT that generates more crypto tokens, in this case, goo, that then be able to use as transactions or has, you know, some sort of uh, uh, commodity value um, in the whole uh, economy, which me leads me to kind of like the next part. It's like, what is goo? And how is Goo used uh, in kind of this uh, perspective uh, and gameplay? Well, you know, with Micro Buddies, it's a, it is a collectible game uh, about NFTs um, with a combo of the crypto uh, Goo. So, you know, each Micro Buddy has his own uh, unique uh, traits as well as genomes, uh, and also it has a trait on how much Goo it produces. So you can think about like kind of a farm or farm uh, rewards or APY rewards, except attached uh, to the NFTs themselves. So players can spend uh, this goo token, uh, which is produced by the micro buddies to uh, re replicate themselves asexually, or even engage uh, artificial selection to uh, evolve their microbes uh, even further. Uh, so that you can produce uh, more goo um, and better micro buddies uh with succession uh when you do that when you spend the goo um it's actually being burnt uh permanently from the supply uh to reduce inflation um so you know it's providing a little bit more value to the goo uh itself uh, players can also buy goo directly on the open market to uh fund you know their micro buddy uh interests as well um, to kind of uh, further improve, again, their uh, own economy, their own micro buddies, and they can even sell their own NFTs on the first market. So 
when the the ideas kind of like first launch, you know, there's going to be a Genesis event with micro buddies that spans over the first uh, 2,500 micro buddies. Um, that's going to be available uh, in the game. You know, this is known as kind of like the generation uh, zero drop. And, you know, just like, you know, with even CryptoKitties, it's super limited. So the way to get the Genesis micro buddy is you essentially have to go and purchase one of the nano factory tokens. As you can see here, the sale has already begun and there is going to be a limited amount of nano tokens available. Uh, you can only purchase three nano tokens per wallet. So, you know, secret alpha, if you want to get more uh, micro buddies, you just got to set up more wallets <laughs> separately, but don't tell them I told you that too. So in terms of the uh, game, you know, they, it's going to be launching in Q3 and yeah, this is kind of like quick intro for you to understand what micro buddies is, as well as the generation zero event as well from the game. So let's hop right into how to set up your MetaMask wallet as well as make your first purchases of your micro buddies or dash to say nano factory tokens so that you can be participate in the Genesis zero spawning event. In terms of setting up your wallet, let's go talk about MetaMask. MetaMask is the wallet that you need to download and install on your Chrome browser. So for this demo, let me kind of pull up a quick little demo here on how to set up your MetaMask. Let's uninstall this just so I can show you how to set up your MetaMask. So what you want to go is metamask.io slash download and then click install MetaMask for Chrome. Click add to Chrome and then we'll get set up here. We'll download just in a quick second. And now it's added to Chrome. So now we have to set up our nice little Fox MetaMask wallet. Click get started and then click create wallet. We don't, we're assuming that we don't have a wallet to set up. Has some information, definitely read it. And then type a password. Let's just type in a password just in case here. Then also security is also very important. So I'd highly recommend that you go watch through. It describes on what a secret recovery passphrase is. Do not lose it. Do not give it to anybody else. This is how you can recover your account in case you lose access to your account, your computer breaks, whatever it is. It's always stored in the blockchain cloud, <laughs> so to speak. This is like a passphrase, like a secret key. You never want to give this away. You should only keep the only master key to yourself. Maybe write it in a notebook or somewhere that's safe um, for security. Now, I'm going to show this for the purposes of the demo. Again, do never show this to anybody else. It's going to give you uh, this little phrase here, mnemonic, 12 uh, words. Again, write this in the order from left to right. And if you need to recover your account, this is the password. Now, again, this is a demo account. Nothing's going to be loaded on here. You should hit next for me. I'm just going to say, remind me later. But if you hit next, it's going to ask you to test, you know, some of the words that in the order that it should appear in. I'm just clicking random. This is not how it would be, and it's not letting me confirm. So you have to make sure that you... This is a test, really, to ensure that you have your secret back phrase, backup phrase uh, stored and make sure you wrote it, wrote it down correctly because if you lose this, you will also lose access to your wallet. If you give this to somebody else, they can also just take your whole wallet as well. So, again, keep it safe. I'm going to hit Remind Me Later. Again, this is for demo purposes. You should hit Next and go through that test. Now, this is the MetaMask wallet. We can also take a look at the MetaMask wallet if we go to our Chrome extension on the top right here. And we can summon it from a drop down menu up here on the Chrome extension tab. And we can see the same exact interface. This is the web version, this is the Chrome. Now let's talk about like what are the different settings. So in terms of the kind of layout here, if you go to copy clipboard and you click copy, this is your actual address. So when you're trying to send and receive Ethereum or other cryptos. They have to be ERC ERC20, Ethereum-based uh, tokens. This is where you're gonna go and receive it. You can also purchase it through wire or deposit directly from Coinbase. Personally, I use Coinbase and I'll just kind of walk you a little bit through Coinbase. 
I don't really have much funds in Coinbase as I kind of transferred it all out, but I can give you a quick demo uh, just to get you started and point you to the right direction on how to buy Ethereum with your card, banking, etc., and go from there. So again, this is your address right here, and you want to now go to Coinbase and let's preload some Ethereum to go purchase uh, and purchase some micro buddies. So what you want to do here is you want to go to Ethereum. If you haven't registered for a uh, Coinbase account, highly recommend you do so. And once you do so, you can go ahead and go purchase. And once you get your full account set up, you're going to go to this, to this dashboard. On this dashboard, you can see there are different purchases or sizes that you want to buy Ethereum. And so, for example, here, you know, I can go click, 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 and then pay with my bank account and purchase once you purchase it you might have to wait a few days especially if you have a brand new account uh, it's not going to show up on your account quite yet it's going to take a couple days before you transfer out so you might have to pause the video and come back to this video shortly again after you got your ethereum what you want to do is you want to transfer it out so you want you want to go to use your portfolio again this is just for demo purposes i have nothing really chilling in uh my coinbase find some ethereum your metamask copy the address go through and load up the address right here hit the amount that you want to send and then send it now i'm going to show you a wallet that has a uh, preloaded uh, eth so that we can go into the next step which is going out and purchasing your first nano tokens and micro buddies So here's an Ethereum account. I loaded about $1,200 in it. You don't have to have this much amount, but you should have a couple hundred dollars because gas could be, it depends on how gas is. It, it, it ranges as well too. We'll take a look and see how much a micro buddy actually costs just to give you, a, or I should say a nano token actually costs. So what we do is we go to microbuddies.io. Again, we have our MetaMask installed, okay? And then we go here, actually let's go through and click. You might have to click connect wallet. It's gonna go and prompt you your wallet. You click yes and confirm. And then you click buy nano factory tokens. Now as you can see here, one nano factory token costs $100 and the gas is only $2. So you have to have a minimum of $110 approximately. I'd probably load it a little bit more, 120, just in case the gas becomes super expensive. Now let's cancel that transaction. Let's show you again, just click. It automatically prompts again your MetaMask. It shows you the gas fee. This is how much Ethereum is gonna cost you for, to make this transaction. And then this is the fee of actually purchasing a Nano Buddy or Nano Factory token. So I click confirm and there you go. I made my purchase for my first Nano Factory. So after I click purchase, the transaction is pending. And so this might take a couple minutes um, to actually confirm. I'll speed up the video a little bit just so you don't have to wait too long. Um, but it will be a couple minutes before this actually purchases the uh, nano token. And just like that. So it took about three minutes. Uh, my transaction finally confirmed. And now I have a nano token, I should say. So. One important thing too, after we made our purchases of the Nano Factory token, when we go to MetaMask, it actually does not show up uh, directly on the uh, MetaMask wallet itself, but it is still in there. So what we have to do is we have to go and add a custom token. And if you go look in the description down below in the YouTube video comments, I'll put the actual contract address. So we have to grab the contract's address uh, and drop it in here. So we have to go and get the contract address, which I'll drop it right here and paste. Uh, it is a NFT symbol, or we can call this a nano factory token. Actually, this is a nano factory token. It's actually NFT. 
and then we hit next and done so again take the address that i put into the uh, comments down in the youtube video below and that's how you can see your nft token or the nano factory token into your metamask wallet as well so I would say that micro buddies is really for everybody. So whether you're a gamer that likes to buy the nano factory token, NFT token, uh, to create the gen Z micro buddy, um, or if you're a collector who likes to just stock up on this limited edition NFT, uh, commodity and NFT drop, uh, micro buddies has something for everyone. So go check it out at microbuddies.io. participate in the nano factory, uh, token launch and get ready for the Gen Zero Micro Buddies. I definitely am, and I'll see you guys there.